Usually people are really confused when I tell them what I do. I tell them like, yeah, I own a fingerboard company. Like those tech decks you used to get in sort of like, yeah, but professional. Skateboarding makes me feel awesome. It doesn't get boring. It's always a challenge. There's no rules. Fingerboarding and skateboarding both have that. I started fingerboarding in fourth grade. I had a lot of fun playing with the tech decks and then I wanted to kind of improve them. A lot of times the screws would come out so I'd glue them in and just start modifying things like that. And I just realized I could make them better and better. A lot of kids wanted to buy them so I kind of put a name on it and it grew into this huge business over time. There's hundreds of thousands of people out there that are into this. We are at the Flatface Rendezvous location in Dracut, Massachusetts, and it's pretty much a big building filled with fingerboard parks, and I do huge events here where kids fly in from all over the place to come and fingerboard together. When you go into a contest, it's crazy because there's stadium seating and there's everyone looking at you and lighting and cameras. My first few contests, I got crazy adrenaline rush. Like, you don't even remember the thing after you do your run. I don't do any warm-ups or exercises with my hands for fingerboarding. Apparently some people do calisthenics. The rules are pretty much you want to use two fingers. You'll have maybe 30 seconds or a minute or so and you just do a run and there will be a whole bunch of judges. They'll judge you on consistency, style, the tricks you do. It's like really high pressure. You can't even really put it into words. It's a crazy kind of feeling and atmosphere. When so many people get together from all over the world, all over the country, and some of them, it's like a really, really big deal to them. Like that's the only thing they wanted to do all year. It just makes me super happy because I can barely believe that I'm the reason they're there. Like because of something that I set up and that I'm doing.